Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 52 of Let's Platinum Dungrumpa V3, Killing Harmony. Ugh, so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. Hmm. Kaito bringing Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Kaito, you really are something else. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself. And eventually, I drifted sleep, to, to sleep. Now we have Monodam Theatre, not to be confused with Monokuma Theatre. Okay, well this one's easy, this is the Matrix. Curious. Curious what we monocubs do when you're not around. I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in an air-conditioned room. And when we all go out together, they usually make me steal. See? We're all such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. <laughs> uh, that, was pro that was a pretty crappy one, actually. <laughs> Monokumas are much better. Boom, 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 boom. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement. This is an emergency announcement. Please assemble in the gym. Let's get along. Refusal to get along is grounds for punishment. <laughs> oh, Monodam, you're really obsessed with this whole getting along thing. That's right. Friends is the only show he watches now. I will not forgive that. If you don't get along, I won't forgive you. I will use the exosols to peel your faces off like mandarin oranges. Oh, gory. Ah, that's so gory. But please, get along everyone. <laughs> ah, she puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. They say anyone who sees Monofanny's bu blue puke will have good luck. So long. Farewell. <laughs> the blue puke actually looks like it's a collectible. I want it. I need it. <laughs> Assemble in the gym, huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, time to go to the gym in that case. Let me have a quick look at just a few things. Uh, yeah, okay. So we've got Kaito and Kyo here, so let's talk about, to both of them. Oh, hey bro! Okay. Good morning. Did you hear the announcement? Ah. Yeah, we gotta meet up in the gym, right? What's going on so early in the morning? Well, I guess we got no choice but to go. You going ahead, bro. Huh? What? You're not going? So... Nah, no, I'm going. I just gotta take care of something first, then I'll meet you there. Kaito pointed at the door to Maki's room. I suppose he's going to take her. Hey, so... They said everybody's gotta be there, right? Who knows what'll happen if some of us don't show up. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Last night's training session, and now this. Kaito was really concerned about Maki. It would be nice if he could help her get along with everybody. Okay, and Kyo, if I can ever do it. Hmm. Good morning, Kyo. Are you going to the gym? Yes. Ah, yes. I was about to head over just now. I overslept a bit today, you see. <laughs> of course, the one time I do that, we are summoned, so I panicked a bit. I am normally ready to leave my room by 7.30am. Uh... That early. I usually wake up at the Monocubs' announcement. I usually wake up at 6am, since it takes me so long to get ready each morning. Why does it take so long? Isn't that even longer than what a girl takes? Well, Kyo does have a pretty elaborate uniform, perhaps that's why. So In any event, we've no time for idle chats, I shall go on ahead to the gym. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. So, we'll leave our room, and I think, okay. So I want to be careful here. I want to talk to Samugi first. Yeah, let's talk to Samugi first. Oh. Good morning, Samugi. Yeah. Oh, good morning. Are you about to head to the gym too, Shuichi? Okay. Yeah, I certainly don't want to ignore a summons like that. I guess. Right. If we don't all show up, he might think we're not getting along or something. Before, I thought Monodam was the most reasonable one out of them, but... He's pathologically fixated on getting along. He's even killed other monocubs over it. 
It seems like he was actually the most dangerous one. One wrong step, and he's full on yandere. <laughs> what is she talking about? Uh, it's like a type of anime or something. Style of anime. I forget what, though. Himiko, good morning. Nah. Did that mean good morning? Why do we have to go to the gym so early in the morning? I don't know, but I don't think it's anything good. We have an important student council meeting today, but this is gonna use up all my energy. An important meeting? It's fine. No, no, it's okay. You won't use up too much energy just walking to the gym. Yeah. Hey. About this meeting, are you planning something? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sort of. Angie said we would have a part. We should have a party. We were planning to play in the pool with everyone after this. Hmm. I see. Atua said he wanted to play in the pool. What a peculiar request for a god to make. Oh no, now's no time to be standing here talking. If we don't hurry up to the gym, our faces might get peeled off like mandarin oranges. Mm. I don't like mandarin oranges. Peeling off all the white stuff is a pain. The pool, so that's where all the girls will be. What? Do you want something from me? Monokuma stared at me silently, intensely, as though he were trying to tell me something. Hey. Well, what is it? If you have something to say, say it! Suddenly, a thought flashed into my mind. A man's fantasy. Where is this thought coming from? Not from my mind. From my heart? Yes, my heart, for I have love on my side. Hey. I understand now, Monokuma. You're telling me that it's time. The girls are going to play in the pool, which means they'll be in swimsuits. That must mean a zany yet romantic scene will play out, and I'll be there. <laughs> but should I? Is it really okay to be doing something like that? Tenko would kill me. Alright, so in order to get the Platinum you do need to select yes. Yes, I can't back down now. The power of love in my chest has filled my throbbing heart, full charge. I have no choice, I must go! Alright, and just to explain that, uh, before you do that scene, and like, I, didn't, I should have said it earlier, but um, you need to make sure that you have gift number... 111 gun of man's passion a model of an imaginary weapon it's powerful but only the worthy may fire it embrace it to feel a man's fantasy you can give it away but something good might happen if you keep it so yeah you need to have that before you before uh, like otherwise that moment won't happen and as i said you need that because it's part of the platinum uh okay let's go to, into the school because we've got to go to the gym now we'll find kibo here hello kibo Good morning. Okay. Good morning, Kibo. Shuichi, doesn't this summons give you an uneasy feeling? You're right. Well, yes, I suppose it does. Based on prior events, perhaps another motive is going to be announced? The timing is similar to when we received the monocup pads. Okay. Yes, I think that may be the case. Indeed. But it's alright, no matter what kind of motive is prepared for us, we can oppose it together. Huh? I have decided. Don't worry, we won't allow the killing game to continue. Hmm. That was strange. Kibo is uncharacteristically optimistic. What did he mean by won't allow it to continue? I don't know if he's uncharacteristically optimistic. I've always felt Kibo is mostly optimistic. Definitely more optimistic than pessimistic. At least when he's not talking about robophobic. That's robophobic. <laughs> no, I like Kibo. Still haven't entered, been able to enter this room. I wonder what it is. Yeah, maybe later. All right, let's enter the game. What's a game? Oh, a game. <laughs> I don't even remember what episode that's from. Mm, yeah. It was the same way when we went to the library after Rentaro's class trial. All clean. Like nothing ever happened. Man, I'm tired as beep. 
I was up all night fixing that computer. You took a look at the computer on the fourth floor? What did you think? Yeah, I only just started working on it, so I don't have the full specs, but... That thing is pretty good. I mean, it's so intense, it just won't let me sleep. <laughs> Are you jealous? Please stop. Of course not. I would never be jealous of a computer. But... A robot jealous of a computer? It seems just plain possible. Oh? Hey, guys, am I sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Come on, Don't say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. But... Maybe everyone would prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer that this dangerous killer stays far away from us. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't prefer that at all. That's you better cut it out. No, no. He's right. Murder and death have no place in a peaceful academy life. Mm. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Yeah. yeah, it's just like Angie said. Huh? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> it's serious. How? Oh no, the colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No, no not that. Gonto went to courtyard before coming here and... Come on, what is it? Why'd you call us out all of a sudden? We're the ones who have called them out. Did you forget that too? Now. Let's worry about Monotaro later and present the motive now. It. So it is a motive after all. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the motive is, we will not do the killing game anymore. That's right. We weren't afraid of anything anymore. Indeed. We aren't afraid of anything anymore. Because we have a tour. What? Actually. But it's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before? If you face a fear like never before, you'll have no choice but to unite. Now for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. We'll present it together! This time, the motive is a transfer student. Yep, a new student is transferring, and not just any transfer student. You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. And welcome them back to the academy as a transfer student! Well... What? You keep on using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> a transfer student? Are you serious? We can resurrect someone? The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. That's right! But only one of the four who have died so far can become the transfer student. Where you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. Actually, that's a really quick thing to point out. So the first game is referred to as the killing game life. The second game is referred to as the killing game trip. And I guess based on what Monofanny said just here, this one is referred to as the Killing Game Semester. This might be the first time in the whole game that they actually mention that, which is very interesting. At least, I don't, I don't know if that's like the quote-unquote official way of referring to it, but I like the way it, it sounds and it makes sense and it's different from the first, first game as well. So technically, you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. This motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Oh, sorry, old habits and such. Hey. Oh no, damn. Let's forgive Monotaro. Forgiving is what friends do, you know? That's wonderful. Monofanny, you're nice. But there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll have you punish Monotaro. <gasps> what? Me? <laughs> Please, no, not Monofanny. I'm always mocking her when she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. I'll do it. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> so long. Farewell. Good, go away. We were all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations, but what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. In 
incomprehensible. T Transfer student. Resurrecting the dead? Don't screw around! Don't, don't say such a stupid thing. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. It just can't happen. Sheesh. Who the F would believe that load of unscientific, unscientific bullcrap? Listen. Disbelief due to a lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. This ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. See, they are similar. Yes, the act of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of ritual. Through rumors and legends, that, tw that ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. A ritual? So? Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff, huh, Kyo? <laughs> what are you saying? There is no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? What? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Hmm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe those souls can be resurrected. That seems confusing, but I know if we ask, this conversation will just go on forever. Okay. If not even Keo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Right. And if this idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable girl would believe it either. You think? Hmm, you think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> the kooky bitch is finally talking. No, but too bad. No one's interested in your bullcrap cult. No. Wait, let's hear what Angie has to say. Right. Yes, Angie is free to speak. Yay! <laughs> Can I say it? Yay! Okay, I'm gonna say it. Cause that's what Atua desires. I can't follow this conversation at all. Okay, now... I said that... Karekio, Kaito, and Gonta are the three interesting ones to talk to. Everyone just says, like, let's hear what Angie has to say, and Maki probably just don't say anything. What happened? What's wrong, Kaito? You don't look well. Okay. No, it's nothing. I'm just uh, not feeling so good. All of a sudden? Hmm, okay. Karekio? Hmm. Atua. I wonder what manner of god it is that Angie speaks of. Does that bother you, as an anthropologist? I... No, I have no interest in gods, but I have great interest in their creators. Humans are the ones who created gods, and I am very interested in humanity. I wish to know the causes and reasons why human beings create gods. I shall observe. In that sense, this school is most interesting, because it is during times of great crisis that humans create gods. Maybe a god shall be created here as well. I get where Angie is coming from, but Yukio? Yukio? <laughs> Maybe... Bring dead back to life? Gonta no can believe that. Forest family teach Gonta. Everything that born and everything that die is part of grand flow. And flow never rewind. Gonta would be happy if everything that died could come back. But even Gonta know there's no way to take back what already happened. Alright, I think that's it. And now I'm gonna talk to Angie. Uh, uh... So, you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh... I don't think the resurrection ritual can really bring back, bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like... Returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because... You know how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean, it's like there was never a dead body to begin with? So maybe... The truth is... They were never dead to begin with. They... Weren't dead? No. That's not possible. We inspected all of the bodies ourselves. But... But... It might have been a very accurate imitation. No. Uh, an imitation? I see. Monokuma and the exocells are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. So it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. If that's what Angie says, then I'm starting to plainly agree. Mm. I've always supported Angie. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wait. 
No, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. Degenerate male! Grrr. Don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate. Why? Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Shuichi? You don't want the dead to be alive? That's true. But... Uh, I do. I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now I think that. But no matter how much we want that... But... Oh, wait! If everyone alive, that means they're somewhere in school, right? So maybe one of them write message in courtyard. The message in the courtyard. Oh uh, yeah, the message in the courtyard. It said horse A before. But Gonta seems like he wants to say something about it. Well, let's find out what he has to say next time. So for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 52 of Let's Find Dunger Up for V3 Killing Harmony. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.